It closed the door. It closed the door. It closed the door. I know y'all heard about that asshole up in Chicago, but you heard about these bad witches down here? The lights that shine in darkness aren't always visible under the sun. Beware the tales told by the fire's keepers. Those who control the light often hide in their own shadows. Hey. Hey. hey! Are we live? 
I believe. believe. We are live. Okay. Uh, well, thank, one yeah. of us is. I don't know about everybody else at the table. Okay. So, anyway, thank you for joining us. Welcome to Into the Woods, Part 2, Electric Boogaloo, Ties That Bind. Spooky Boogaloo. Spooky Boogaloo, as uh, Spencer put it. Uh, this is the continuation of a horror game we did in uh, October of 2021. And I was so inspired, I decided I want to kill the party. <laughs> so now Hewitt, the original DM, is now at the table and he is going to be one of the players joining us. And this is going to uh, start off right after the original Into the Woods. But first, let's go around the table and introduce the characters just in case no one knows who they are. Since we got somebody coming, hey, how's the audio coming through for us? Yeah, it's audio good. good. Monka yeah, we- Spooky. Monka. Oh, that, 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 that's from Doki Doki Literature. Yeah! Sounds great. Hell yeah. Okay. Yay. With the exception of Hewitt, because he's going to be introduced in game. Oh, hi. Um, I am Mesa Doth Cosplay, and I am reprising uh, the Paranoopte, the winged tiefling, dark moon heresy cleric, um, who was actually the only survivor of. Uh, into the woods. So we that know, was. We don't know what those wolves did. Survive. We know what those wolves did. Hey, you said that I was back home. Old and you, 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 frail. You yourself said I survived. <laughs> the, the DM has spoken. <laughs> well, then that. Uh, hi, everybody. That my name is Spencer, also known as Major Spencer One. And then that uh, I will be reprising Jolon T Spirit, the uh, halfling swarm keeper ranger. And last oh. but not least, um, I'm Bosch. I'm bringing uh, Pe- uh, Preacher back and um, the Preacher. highly esteemed and loved Thunderclap herself. Um, and hopefully, this time, instead of just straight running for our lives constantly, non stop, uh, Preacher might be able to, you know, preach the good word. We'll see. Uh, we'll <laughs> see if any, everyone here is receptive. But anyway. Oh, they will be. Oh. We pick up where we left off with the fall of Mortweld. You three find yourself going into the void. Your limbs are going cold. Your mind is fading. You can feel the abyss tugging ever so much at you. Ah, this is what death feels like. Yeah. And as soon as you feel your consciousness starts to fade you wake up in a warm bed warm straw bed nice and tucked in with a down pillow you feel the warmth of a hearth on the other side of the room and as you stir awake you see your other compatriots from Mortwell with the exception of Madrid who is not there sit are starting to stir awake who got into the hat what? Oh, stupid damn kids. Well, I guess we're all dead, and I'm glad that you both decided to embrace the way of Paylor. It you notice something. My heart. You notice something different about him as he's speaking. What? What is that? that His I eyes notice? are glowing an emerald green. You notice he has a similar uh, wreath, and his skin is pallid. Re- wreath, um, like Madrid's wreath. Yes. <clears throat> Is there is there a mirror in this room? I know it's jarring at first to embrace Paylor, but is there a mirror in this room? Uh, give me a perception check. All right, don't fail me now, tiny metal dice. Hey, how does a uh, how does a nineteen sound? Uh, you're able to find a little air, like a little dresser, and you see like an uh, a little like hand mirror. Getting out of bed. Hmm. As you get out, you're a little bit sore, <laughs> and you notice that. Yeah. <laughs> you really just ran to the door and you know, like he's in bags already. <laughs> you notice you have bandages all up and down your arm. Thank you, phone. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna go over grab grab the mirror. Um, <sighs> is there anything else on the dresser? Uh, not that you can see. Just mostly like. Hygiene-related stuff. It looks like. As I'm looking around the room, do I see 
my stuff. Yeah, your stuff is right next to your bed, actually. Okay. All right. As well, is both yours. I'm going to go by and just kind of like, as I'm walking past, hold the mirror in front of Preacher's face. You wow. notice your eyes are emerald and you have the uh, similar wreath on your head. And I'm kinda by the up. way, you need to look up uh, the hex blood. In this book. <laughs> Racial change. <laughs> Lineage change. Lineage change. Okay. Yeah, you still, he still looks human. With the exception of his ears curling into a weird uh, Those point. weren't there before. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like moving. put that down on the bed by him and go grab my grab my shit. Okay. Are you saying anything to him? Does I'm, he look weird? I'm Probably. just trying to just. Stay. He does look weird as well. Oh, really? You have a similar. Th- <laughs> only your eyes are more of a uh, lapis. What is lapis that? Lapis lazuli. Like, yeah, sort of that uh, vibrancy to them. I mispronounced it. And whereas his skin is, has more of a pallid green to it, yours has more more of a blue tint, and your fingernails are like a deep sea blue. So I guess then. But you're still a halfling. I am a halfling. I was just a, I was just a winter eladrin. I'm not saying anything to Joel on right now because we got ish to work out, but I need to be armed first. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going back to my stuff, yeah. and uh, I know I never used it before, but um, I have both a whip and a rapier, Yeah. and I'm grabbing both of those instead of the scythe, Okay. and I'm turning on Joe Lawn, and I'm going to say, why the fuck did you try to kill me? I'll deal with this in a minute. By the way, you're also a hex blood. Okay. Need another book. First of all, mm. that I was just defending myself. I don't know. It must have been those goddamn trees. Trees again? Yes, the fucking trees. Oh, please, both of you. You stay out of this. Again? You stay out of this. It's between me and the pure. I don't think the tone of your voice. And if not, uh, you. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Are you awake? Yes, motherfucker! Madrid! The door opens, and you see what looks to be like a green man with long, long black... Green green man again, no. (laughs) Uh, He had, despite his green complexion, he has a very rosy cheeks and a big rosy nose. Uh, Santa? uh, His skin is a bit uh, speckled. With like green, almost looks like liver spots. His hair is a little bit thin in the front, and he's wearing PJs, like black PJs with stars and moons all over it. And he has like the hat. Well, and he has. You know his hair's thinning at the top if he's got it. That's hat. true. Maybe it's like set back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it can so be set can back. Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait, we're going full on Dickens to where. Yeah, it's kind of like on the crown instead of all the way. Up. Hey, Ebenezer. <laughs> and he's holding a little mind. candle light. light. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, mother will see you now. Mother? Yes. My mom's dead. No, my mother will see you now. Oh, okay. Okay. Great time for a music chain. That's an odd name for Paylor, but okay. D- d- no Paylor here. Can we have a couple of minutes? There's it, some things that we need Make to work it quick. Out. I am trying to sleep, as you can see. Can I just have a quiet place for you? Sure, but the mother and did the mother did cook for you, so it is best not to keep her waiting. We should wash up first. Uh, maybe wash up, but don't don't take too long, please. Wait, I just, will be waiting outside door. It Thank will just you. take about Thank three you. minutes. About uh, three minutes. Okay, good. Uh, three minutes. Uh, Alright, you missed. Why do you have your weapon out? Because this one is responsible for getting the kids that I was trying to save dead. That sounds like drama. That's none of my business. And <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> and repeat okay wait dead kids yeah yeah that the hags tried to kill me brewer. my kids defended me that they killed me but now then that that the only thing that I basically remember was just that we were consumed by the trees and stuff and then that I was dead but I don't know what else happened and then I just remember a tree is basically consumed you and me 
So I don't know what's going on. Wait, if you were dead, how do you know a tree ate you? Because uh, it you was the embodiment. It, too, it was the, the embodiment that you were there, and then that we were speaking all creepily. Okay, so yeah, here okay. I, I have another question for the DM though. Do I remember the afterward vision that I got from Hewitt? Where I was back home and I was like ages older and dying. Yeah, you remember that. So I do remember that. So now I'm back, but in my youthfuler self. Hold on, we're having some connectivity yep. issues. Oh, it's in the red. Yeah. Okay, he's huh? back. No. No, we're still in the red. It's jumping between three and ten thousand. Uh oh. Uh oh. So should we sit a second? Oh, uh, we'll sit. We'll sit a second. It's. It did this. Yes, we're back in the green. Okay, so we're back. It did, it did this yesterday when I was. Okay. Yeah, you don't know. So. But I'm, I'm back as I was. Yeah. That's oh. like if you want to give yourself a medicine check, you can. Just to check over yourself. Okay. Sure. Know. Let's go. 21. Okay, we're now dealing uh, with more like a 10 second lag. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so you notice the scars you got from Mortwell. Well, well all I've got up, bandages and stuff. But. Like when you expect where you you remember being scarred, you notice the scars are there, but it looks like they've long since healed. They look like faded scars, basically. Okay, so I feel sore, but I I feel okay. Yeah, you're like all three of y'all have the same bandages, and you feel sore. Hi. Just like when you overextend, like ever had it like a long workout and you're mm-hmm. just kind of like that's how you all feel right now okay i don't know how in the world that we got here you know that it was just that that situation i just don't know but let's just go see who this mother situation is first and then that if that we want to settle this outside we can but at least we need to because I just don't trust any of this. Steel. That brings me to a good point. I'm going to sit here for a hot minute. Um, I'm, I'm assuming I don't have a giant two-ton Giga Chad woman with me. <laughs> no, no. Or Giga Stacy, as Wait, they would say. Where in, speaking of which, where she's is she? not Stacy. She might be a Becky. <laughs> she is an uh, Ashley. As long as she's not a Carol. Oh, my Spell God. with extra letters. Look at her. But wow. anyway. <laughs> uh, you, the, uh, the guy comes up. Okay, so you're the, you are coming then, yes? I'm at, I'm still at door. In a moment. Y'all resolved your drama. Strapping right. scythe. Longbow. Putting stuff on him. Longbow hips. and just putting stuff on. And then that <laughs> probably character description needs to happen. So, Joan, just picture like a, kind of like a, how tall did I say he was? Don't rub your wiener on straight. That he was a four foot five halfling. Kinda of like now he has like basically a bluish tint to his uh to his uh self right. self and then he's basically and then he then uh then he basically has like a werewolf pelt on with just kind of like a mixture mixture of just uh, like uh of just like forest green and like red just leather armor on with just some foot wrappings and then that uh, he's a very angry looking halfling. And you as you get. Why is everybody so angry? No, he went to his original race, but he his lineage did change. Okay, but Pierre, if you want to describe yourself. Um, uh, big ass wings. Actually, has four horns, two that go straight up and two that come down. Um, she is... Um, the para is also blue. Um... And I'm assuming the scars and stuff are going to be coming out like a lighter blue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, her hair is um, a silver going white. She keeps it in a long braid. And um, her eyes are solid black. No no pupil. Hmm. And Preacher, if you want to describe yourself. Oh, yeah. We well, human beings. <laughs> preacher used to look like your uh, typical Preacher type feller with uh, brown hair, beard, Stash, and uh, he's wearing Hi. robes with uh, yellow and gold and white as the primary color. And he is usually accompanied by a very large, uh, voluptuous statue of a woman. <laughs> 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 you 
Please tell me that came through. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so as y'all get ready. Uh, so do y'all... <laughs> it did. <laughs> so as you get ready, uh, do you follow this stranger? Yes, but I wanna. I'm being very suspicious and looking all around as we Same. leave this building. Okay, so you're going to. I, I. I won't. It doesn't matter. Come on, come on. And he just walks down the hall. You see that his uh, PJs are uh, slightly unbuttoned on the back. What? what? He has a butt <laughs> flap, and it's slightly unbuttoned. He's walking down, and it is like kind of a winding hallway. And you go downstairs. It's really weirdly built, and it looks has kind of like a cottage aesthetic but it's a lot <laughs> bigger and a lot more intricate than your average cottage yeah, okay. and then you eventually get to a point where there's this big opening you see a fire you see a pot next to the fire and you see a table with three bowls with some soup or stew sitting in them and he turns and looks at y'all go sit down she will she will be with you in a moment all right Sit down. I am going back. Well, which one was yours? I don't know. Hmm? I'll. I think this one's mine. I had the rings. All right. Can I, I make a survival check to make sure that this stew, stew is not poisonous or anything like that? Sure. I am gone to buy. I am going to sleep. Why would she that that to... is a nineteen. A nineteen. Why would she to poison the stew? I mean, she was uh, in the beds if they wanted. You to notice that it's a pretty normal stew. It has, it, you know, it has carrots, parsnips, you know, uh, onions, bell pepper. Looks like some sort of meat in there. Uh, it smells like pork, uh, but you don't sense anything poisonous. So instead of basically using the spoon, Joan just basically just starts just picking it up and just starts sipping on it. <coughs> Tastes good. Uh, it's nice and warm. Hmm. That this is the that this is the only thing from like civilization I can like hot food at least. I'm not sure I call this civilization just yet. That this is civilization to me. So besides the pot and the hearth and the table with the bowls and mm. the chairs, anything else in this room? Do an investigation check. What'd you get? <laughs> that's, a, that's a six. Six? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. That's fine. It's kind of dimly lit, so uh, it's kind of hard to see exactly. Like, you notice, like, the normal area for, like, a fireplace, a place where someone was cooking. You see, like, cooking utensils. You see, like, meats hung up. You see... Uh, certain spices hung up on the ceiling much higher I'll give you this a lot higher than where you can reach I mean I could fly I would assume but yeah I'm you gotta got do fly hops to get up this, <laughs> I'm not going to um, are there any windows there's a few windows yeah uh, is it dark outside it is dark okay yeah. and as y'all are looking around you hear and these big footsteps start coming closer to another door. Like, y'all came out this way. There's a door right here. And you hear this, I can't do it, but really heavy footsteps. No. And then you see the door open. And you see this long, clawed hand reach out. And you see this woman cloaked. But you see her iron teeth peek out like that. And she has this creepy smile and she gets up and about she, nine so feet she lady d's through the doorway it's another big lady okay. yeah <laughs> no uh and she is walking through you notice that she is wearing a giant cloak and there's just like you see her face but under the cloak you don't see much like features on her body you see her hands and you notice her feet are chicken feet these giant clawed feet and she's walking in and she looks at you and says oh you're awake i was wondering if you're ever going to wake voice does not match the body 
Are you enjoying the soup, little babies? <laughs> it tastes good, at least. Oh, I it's am, my special recipe. I am uh, taking it that you must be mother. You can call me Migotha. Migotha? I am the older sister of Midred. Oh. oh I see the resemblance. Oh, thank you. And I have come with a reward for you. You helped me to read in a terrible place, Mortwild. So mm. I decided to pluck you from her strings and bring you here. Unfortunately, two of you were beyond the repair in your motor form, so I had to do an approximation. But I think I did all right, yes? <laughs> Um, here. Somewhat, as long as I'm alive. Speaking of, where's Madrid? Oh, she yes, is still, where is she? She is still on her, she's still on her quest. She cannot become Potter Coven until she finishes her quest. You see, she still has a little bit of work to do, and you notice one of her fingers are gone. Ooh. But of course, this is why I have you here. I need your help for something. Madrid owes me in blood. I thought that sounded a little malicious. Oh, well, if you have any problems with Madrid, you can pick it up with her when she gets here. I want nothing to do with any of thing of hers. Oh. I appreciate the help, but I really don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> you see a string appear, and she tugs it. Give me a strength uh, save. Fingers crossed. Manners. I lost all my manners. Eleven. Eleven. You I take full damage. Okay. What, what, what was what was her name again? Uh, Nagatha. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get. I gotta get all the dice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's some changes. I lose, lose some skills too. You take 51 damage. You said and four. What? You, you said four damage. And then you first. added a bunch of other damage? I didn't say four damage, did I? Yeah, yeah you I did. I didn't hear say four. Roll back the footage. <laughs> I, I thought that. Four. I, like, I was counting dice. She did uh, 60 10 to you. 51? Yes. Not dead. What is 9 plus 8? 51? <laughs> and you are forced prone as you take that damage. And you see between, under the, uh, the, what is it? The galls and everything, mm -hmm. all the wraps, you see blood start to pour out. Well, you see, you I brought you back and I can always bring you back to the void if you lick. Lick? If you lick. 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 I'm sorry the accent gets in. Ah. This is my second language, you see. Ah, fair. fair. <laughs> that is fair. So if you want, I can send you back. Or you can just do this one little thing for me. And it won't be that hard because I know all of you are very competent. And very mm. competent. You don't lose any of your skill proficiencies from your previous. Oh, we don't? You, you don't. Know. Okay, good to no Yes. Did you get 60 feet of dark vision? I already had dark vision. Can, can I get back to my feet, or am I being held properly? You're, you're held currently. She has, you see like this ethereal string that she's holding on like that? I mean, then that, I do just basically excuse my companion. Don't behavior. defend me. I can defend whoever I want. You can also try to kill whoever you want. I <laughs> am a kill you again. I am trying to save your ass, so shut the hell up. I, anyway. I, I feel that there's some unresolved issues it is. that happened after this. Oh, I love drama. I would so, love to hear about so it. What, so basically, like, what is this thing that you do require of us for just your generosity, in a oh. sense? <laughs> oh, this is a small thing. Hey, Joe. 
We're not supposed to make deals, well, remember? I am blocking out the pier. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a, a terrible story about uh, some vile people in the town of Pirlaska. They are trying to thwart the coven from being rejoined. Thwart the coven? And my dearest Midrid is about to be finished with her quest, and I must ensure no one gets in the way. No one. What was the name of the town? Pilaska. Pilaska. They have since closed their doors to all. But I have a feeling you can get in there and unnoticed, yes? I, I, Murder their speaker? I, I have a very pertinent question. Where are we? You are in the Elden World. And you are Madrid's sister. Eldest sister? So there are more of you. There are exactly three of us. Oh, which finger is missing? Uh, <laughs> she's like, oh, three oh, 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 wait a minute, I'm sorry, three of us. <laughs> um, okay. So you want us to murder somebody? I want you to ensure that Dimitri can make it here safely, and then you can have your freedom and whatever you want to do with Madrid, whatever problems. She is a big girl, she can do what she wants, and she can handle her own business. Then yes? she can handle this. She can handle this, but I have vested interest in restoring my coven, you see. So why was the coven split? That is a long story, I do not feel like telling it now. Long story for a long story. Yeah. I'm a little Give tired. a persuasion check. <laughs> I'm a little tired. You brought me back from the dead. Tell me a story. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't gonna work out well. You're just sitting there like a, this. That's a twelve. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I am very busy, and you three need to shimmy on. You can talk to my y youngest sister, Measle. She is just outside. She will help you out. Measles. Measle. Measles. You are not here, shut Miso. up. Miso. <laughs> Miso. 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 I think that's a soup. <laughs> it's actually kind of neat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, that the stew was very delicious. So, the, do we have a deal? Yes. Help for help. I save you from the abyss. We didn't ask for this. No one asks to be born and no one asks to live. But at last we do. I mean, she can undo you. She's already said as much. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the base. So, clear the way for Madrid and we're good. We're square. Yes. That's all. Exactly. You have it. Twitty. Never that easy. All right. But can, can we get it in writing? <laughs> Very well. And she clicks like that, and you see a, a magic piece of paper and parchment. She's like humming to herself as she, as it finishes, she, oh, yes, I'm sorry. You see the string and then disappear. Immediately opening it and reading it. <laughs> Is it exactly as we described? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna tuck it. Tuck it away. <laughs> so, deal. This town. How about a map? How big of a town is it? What, uh, what kind of people are there? Map, it person is... we're supposed to murder, you know, the whole kit caboodle. Well, she didn't right? say anything about murder. Yes, she did. No. No, I didn't hear anything about murder. If you like, I just want you to cause a little bit of anarchy as you. What exactly is anarchy going to do? Clear the way. How? That, that seems, seems like, like it would muddle the way. It sounds, sounds like she just wants to town to remain uninvolved. Exactly. Very smart. Here is Pilaska. Right here. You are here. Okay. So you then we need to go here? Yes. So we gotta cross water. 
Oh, that's great. So, so, quick question. Is that the rivers here are like just kind of like... So, are that basically are that these uh, waters that they do some uh, bippity-boppity-boo, like just some murky water that we dealt with? No, it's just water. What is wrong with you? Uh, that that's what we had experienced, that that's how the I had became a winter I'm sorry, well, it was a piece of ass. You had the stink of a demon on you. I think that hurts you. I, uh, Are you traumatized? I am not. Dream is another thing of stew. Maybe just to go for the other trees. Ah, I, can, I can get Oleg to come get you. So, Oleg! Isn't he sleeping? Yes. Now he's not. Well, we have. <laughs> that's the most mom thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> we had the youngest sister outside waiting on us. Yeah, so then I just wanted just yeah. to go. Oleg is just like, okay, what do you need now? Fix it, fix the stool for to, to go, to go. Okay, mother. And he goes off and just, y'all awkwardly sit there as he fixes the stew. Is he just put it in the bread bowl? Yeah. <laughs> in the bread bowl, and then that we, then that we don't have a bag of coating, so well. Hmm. You're just gonna have mm. soggy rolls here. That's yeah. fine. Because then a Joan is probably just emaciated. I'm just gonna go outside. Okay. I'm assuming the front door is very obvious. Yeah, you're able to uh, find your way outside pretty easily okay, uh, I'm after you get outside. Outside. Still I'm just start the process of eating this. Calling something that keeps me safe. And thank you. Uh, before that. As you walk outside, you see a giant, another about eight to nine foot tall person, hunched back with like this, looks like a dress. Uh, you see this, this thin, very thin, nearly bald hair. Uh, the deformed hands, like, sitting there tilling to a garden with a couple of other hag spawn, it looks like. And she turns around and looks at you and says, uh, Oh, hello! Oh, I'm Taylor, you're ugly. Oh, Sorry, I spent way too much time with one of your sisters. I'm sorry. Uh, Madrid. Yes. It was a, uh, you something know, between you us. You found the sweet yeah. sister. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke between us. Anyways. Do a, per, do a deception check. Oh god. We're all gonna die before we even make it out of town. Oh, oh, hey, but, oh. It's just like when Donald Glover's character comes back with the pizza and community like. Yep. What happens? That is like one of my all time favorite episodes. Uh oh. That's nine. Hey! Oh, okay, I guess. We're all you'll need die. to. You'll need to go outside. Yes. Already outside. To 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 pal? Not yet. I'm just getting scared. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Joe Lauren just uh, uh, like walks up and just be like, "Or oh, is that just? It's just that is uh, is just that everything is okay? That did he hurt you? It, it, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go next to statue. Yeah, you are just very and beautiful. She, get a. Uh, <laughs> Give me a persuasion or a deception, your choice. Persuasion. Oh, what is that? Oh, half of the roll to roll was four. Wait, are you here? Not a half. Oh, so then if that goes away? Yeah. Oh, that was a net one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all are starting to get them all right. You gain some lineage abilities, but you lose the only you keep the proficiencies from your okay. own lineage. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, thank you, I guess. I go to statue. I'll put my flowers on statue. And she just lumbers over to a familiar looking statue and, and starts putting flowers in a wreath. Does the statue have like an iron head that looks like you can put stuff in it and it has burn marks all over it? Yeah. It does look a slight different though. And okay, I didn't lose. Is this, is this Wicker Man? Or is this... Well, now, instead of having the usual armor, you notice that the statue would look almost completely nude if it weren't for, like, the moss growing in this area. Wait, so this isn't the statue that the townsfolk were burning in the other village? No, this no. This is your statue. This is Thunderclap. Mm -hmm. uh, you see... But she's not all Persephone. But she has, like, 
long ears. Somehow these long, concrete, not concrete, but stone ears like that. She has more elven features in her. You see, like, green stones in her eyes. And she's just sitting there like this. And you see Mitho go up and put, like, flowers in a wreath that she's made. Yeah, I'm just going to sit down and summon. <laughs> you sit down for a second and then... And Mitho's like... <laughs> <laughs> and starts like punching it, <laughs> and you see like her. She she fucking wallops your statue and knocks it down. <laughs> I follow Jolan out. I'm standing and I'm laughing. He, he's never done that before. Move. <laughs> 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 just keeps hitting you. I am just. She set off the, <laughs> she set off the car alarm. <laughs> um. Well. Shit. Hey, I'm very sorry. I'll take care of this. Great chasing girls. I I will use all idle it, and it basically acts as a division for my. Okay, so I'll just teleport directly to my side. So, so it she <laughs> I, as she's going like that, the statue's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the statue disappears and appears next to her, and Meatsle's like, Where'd he go? <sighs> oh, honey. What oh, chap is trying to kill you? I, yeah, no, I, it's I like a dog. dog. I, I it's his dog. dog. Don't worry about it. Is, is, you have dog? I, can no. I see, Can I see dog? That's the dog. Oh, oh my god. Oh, is this. Is, can I pet dog? I don't know, you were just punching dog. Probably shouldn't try to pet dog. Yeah, you were just... Here, when was my second level to you? To me? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. (laughs) You need to be let out. How long long has you been here? Nice. Uh, uh, Good (laughs) minute. (laughs) How long have we... Well, I guess a, a good minute. <laughs> it, you notice her eyes? There's something similar, something piercing about her eyes that betrays her more monstrous form. It, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's unsettling at the same time. Well, yeah. Well. Well, you got geared up. We are both geared up. I would just say, I I would just say this. Until that we resolve, we can basically resolve our beef later. I know then that that's going to be up in the back. But as soon as we get out of this, we can go out to just a, we can just go out to just like an empty field, handle it just like men. In a sense, men and women. Men and women. Exactly, men and women. Men no, and women uh, fight. Uh, I have found my favorite NPC. I'm, NPC. I'm, I'm sorry. In the game <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oh, oh, you must protect the sweet baby. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I I, 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 I just got called up in things. And she lumbers over to a gate that's made of human bone. Oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, do three. Like when she opens it, do three writers yeah. leave before them? And you see her fumble with some keys and just open the door. Yes. Yes. The, the, the door is clear now. Uh, be careful going down the mountain. Uh, Shivani is full of ghosts tonight because of full moon. Is that the moon ring? Shivani is ruined city down at the base of mountain. mountain if you actually look out, you're actually at the top of a mountain. Oh, got it. You actually see up in the distance, you see... A city. Or not a city, but a town. You see, like, lights. And, like, looking out a little bit further than that, you just see mist, but you also do see mountains in the distance. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that, I think that's everything. I, I think I'm going to go garden now. Do you need anything? Do you need soup? 
do we need I have already so got one to go, to go. But, but thank you okay I'm going to garden now and she lumbers over back to the garden it's a very nice garden I mean thank you I try did she leave the she left the gate open yeah she left the gate open but she took the keys back with her she took the keys back with her yeah so my statue looks different yeah <laughs> Mm-hmm. She still has the same weapons, but she looks different. She, got she looks more fae-like. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to buy a whole new SDL. Yes. She's still got her wings, though. Yeah, she's got the wings, sword, and shield. I don't think you need that much. Yeah. I mean, she's still there. We're, we're just gonna make her bigger. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that after just all that I do just remember just so like I think that like one of them was named like uh, Tobias and then he just shanked me right up in the entry and that's all what I remember mm-hmm. one of the kids you can still build okay. all the stabs of the oh. children it's like oh those are still fresh what the fuck no <laughs> anyway so y'all are they were stabbing on a third level level so the Shivani town what is down the mountain Directly down the mountain. Mm-hmm. But then across the valley, there's another town that's still yeah. lit up. Yeah. But that, that doesn't, it doesn't look like it could be um, Kaluska because that's too far away. No, no. You see, right here? Mm-hmm. We're here. Yeah, you're in the witch's hut. Okay. Shivani's about right there, and you see this town right there. Okay. I mean, whoa, 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 what color is the full moon? The full moon is just like a bright white, oh, and it's almost a loop. It, it's not to illuminate without a torch. Okay. Well, then at, at least that we don't have to basically get creeped out, hopefully, so much. Um. As we're they said ghosts, right? Yeah, ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Yeah. I just believe in ghosts. I don't. Yeah, I believe in ghosts. I mean, obviously, guys. Nice That's true. Yeah, sure, that happened to you. I mean, well, you know, as the process of going, and then I got yanked to the mean, out by... Um, as we walk through the gate, like once we're outside the gate, yeah. I'm going to cast Spawn of and slam the shot behind us. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, it's a statue. Oh, okay. <sighs> Why do you do this to this sweet baby? <laughs> she goes back to Carter. <laughs> I have a lot of rage right now. <laughs> And they're not really giving me outlets for it. Um, I'm also going to cast a uh, cure wounds on myself and try to get a little more. Okay. So you cure wounds and you start heading down the mountain. Benedict. You find yourself in the Feywild. In a relatively tame day. And sort of settling down. Uh, You have a fire going and you're cooking something. What are you cooking? Uh, probably just root vegetables that were found and scavenged some mushrooms. A little pot full of it is probably what is being cooked. Okay. So you're sitting there cooking it. You found a log to kind of perch up uh, so you can stir. And you go in to stir. You're checking it. You're checking it. And as you look up, you see a little girl, pale-faced, hair blonde, looks wet. Pallet skin and is looking right at you sitting down. Sit back up straight completely. Sniff the. Oh, the one. Where are you from? You okay? We need their help. Okay. You seek your, your home? just all of a sudden crosses his arms. Gonna do an insight check on that one. No child should know this shit. 
Almost <laughs> back to Max. Uh, that's a 16. 16? Yeah. Uh, you're not getting any sort of deceptive feeling. It, it's almost a somber feeling. Like something bad happened around this person. Well, little one, I wouldn't mind knowing that you didn't know I was from here. I don't look like I wouldn't be. But what's your problem, little one? Are you hungry? My home needs help. Well, I think you can help. It's the Elder God. I can take you there, and I know... I know people... <laughs> I know people there that can help you, too, if you help us. Little one, how did you make it here? I don't know. <laughs> that makes I two of us! I reached out into the void and grabbed onto what I could, and I saw you. And you seem like a lot of heart. Someone that can help. And there are people not from the Elden Wild that need your help too. Might I ask, please, little one, exactly how did you come about knowing there's others and anything else? Uh, time. <laughs> Time is different. Did you hear that burping squirrel? <laughs> that is weird. That is, I think Do you have the, those where you're from? No, no. This they, is, they are, they're quite odd for me to deal with here, too. It's, 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 it's weird. Yeah, we don't have that in the Elton Wall. They usually bite you, though. Well, that's any tree rat. I mean... Mm -hmm. As long as they're not human when, when Giant you're, squirrels. When you've passed over, you've, you don't have much concept of time or... Spatial. I understand that one. A hundred percent. Little one. Eat something and then we will go. I don't need to eat. I, I, don't I, I am going to insist you look. Mm. As you dead. close your eyes, she disappears. And when you look around, she's right next to you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was good at being stealthy, little one. Please. We need your help. And I, I'm sure the people there can help you too. I can help you get there. You want to leave the Feywild? I've watched you a little bit. You seem like you're... Well, that just made this creepy as hell. I'm sorry, I don't... I know, you <laughs> haven't learned to fully people yet. You're just a little one. But it. I have zero fucking charisma. Okay. <laughs> if you if you just come with me, I can help you. Yes. All right. Hold on. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> also, zero intelligence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Just grab the whole ass pot out of the fire. Yes, like. and then twist the cap oh, back on the thermos. Mm -hmm. Alright, little one, let's go. She holds out her hand. Take the ghost child's hand. As you touch her hand, it is ice cold. Child, you seriously need some of this. <laughs> and she just starts walking and pulling you into the forest. Nothing bad can happen from this. Nothing bad. As you're going... Through the forest, uh, a mist starts to envelop, and you smell dill and tarragon, and all sorts of aromatic spices start to <laughs> fill the air, <laughs> and you're, the incline starts to go down a bit. You three hear rustling in the woods. Immediately just draw Wait, a bow, like, can we actually hear it over those two arguing? Well, you imagine y'all well, both stop. Okay, give nope, me a... Nope, uh, nope, that smells like a stew pot. Nope, nope, that <laughs> smells like a stew pot. You, you, no, I don't wish to Okay, y'all don't even have to roll because he's saying that shit. <laughs> stew pot? Who is... Who is that? Well, I hear it. Is there a child still holding my hand? No. Show yourself or else that these arrows are going through both of your eyes. Just Wait, stands up straight. Okay. And, what, and you, what you see... 
is a just shy of six foot tall Haragon. That is Whoa. a funny person. Solid funny. black, solid black fur, with a shock of bright, unnaturally bright red hair that's tied back into kind of a top knot slash ponytail that's been pinned up, wearing leathers with a cloak, has a bright gold ring going through their nose. But more strikingly than any of this yeah, you can look at that. is that the eyes are bright orange and swirling with flecks of gold constantly. Mm. Almost like uh, like if you took a bottle of hypnotic or other such shitty uh, glitter food glitter based alcohol and shook it. That is what's going on, like in uh, this individual's eyes. Name. <clears throat> My good travelers, I am Benedict Cucumber Patch. <laughs> <laughs> Say My penguin. <laughs> penguin. <laughs> penguin. Might I ask your names, oh, armed random encounter in the mountainous woods? T Spirit, Joe Lauren T Spirit. Where the fuck did you come from? Obviously, the Fair woods. Wild. Oh, that that's my home. Hmm. Eat him, Wolfie. What? What? Eat him? <laughs> Wolfie rabbits, are right? So just, I've been tuning everything out. I am uh, simply known as Preacher. I preach the word of Halo. Hmm. Preaches the word of dumbass. <laughs> No, I've met many more that actually do worship a Dumas. It's true. I mean, that. It's alright. I mean, you'd think people like. Yes. Double, you have... double think what they say around me with her, right? but. Don't. Well, let's <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Twelve. Just. <laughs> I just had, just got done eating my to-go stew. What is that smell? It smells like stew. Yes, uh, that's one reason I was not happy to be drugged here by the little one. Hey, little is one? I little smelled one? dill and tarragon. I smelled everything that goes into a stew pot, and if you haven't noticed, don't exactly like the idea of a stew pot. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Especially with ears. Yes. Um. Oh, I did not get this one's name. The angry one. Alright. See that we have uh, that we just have uh, we now that we now that we just have a bit of uh, well what do that the new co kids call it like venison going on these days? Huh? We are arguing about past encounters. Oh, you meant you had beef. Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh anyway. Do you have a brooch? Oak leaf brooch. Kinda got copper vertigree on it. No. Do we have ours? No. But I do have this. And he reaches in his cloak and pulls out this ornate wooden pipe, puts it in his mouth, and then bubbles start coming out of it. All right, How old you got are me you? on that one? All right. <laughs> That's actually a very good question. I'm not entirely sure. Like, yeah. I'm at least this big years old. This big years old. I'm, I'm sorry, Hewitt, you're giving me Laszlo vibes from what we do in the shadows. <laughs> I still need to uh, You, sir, are a casual. <laughs> so you said there was a little... A little... Person? Uh, yes, I was in the Feywild, which is where I've spent the majority of this many years old at, and little emaciated... Becky came out of the woods, demanded she needed help. By the way, I actually have warm vegetable soup in a thermos. Well, it's actually a clay crock that I found out how to make a screw-on lid for. Oh, that's interesting. It's not really watertight, so you have to keep it in an upright position. In any case, um, she asked for me to take her hand and that she needed help. And there are people in the Elden Wild, which is five steps removed from the Feywild if you go through the Shadowfell. And 
and then she disappeared after I got brought through a whiff of very spicy clouds, which made me again think, stew pot, and I ain't going in one of those ever again. Spicy wind. Hmm. Okay, um, I don't have a thing for it, but can I sense any ghostliness still, like, around him, or any traces of anything? Like, he's talking about a little emaciated girl that disappeared. That screams ghost. I guess the only thing you could really do is do a perception check. Or an insight. Mm, I'll take the 19 on perception. Okay, so you don't see anything? No. One of the trinkets I got. You do, you do feel an unsettling presence. Not Maybe not concentrated on him, but just in general. Hmm. Keeping that to myself. So she said some people needed help. Yes, and, and here. yes, and I'm thoroughly confused because I didn't ask for extra details. John, yes, oh, I feel like this is just this whole thing is just it has bad written all over it in every single direction. Gee, you think? You think? Just point just directly at <laughs> and like that first that I first that I was a damn halfling, <laughs> then that I became a winter eladrin, died about five times, and now I am whatever the fuck this is. Stealing my color scheme is what it is. We, um I'm going to stop just a second. It sounds like you have some drama to work out, and I kind of have to figure out where You're the fuck You're not going I... anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Fucking Larry? <laughs> no. No. Larry, not again. <laughs> um, drama. So, but anyway, then that you said that, that you know, like, ghost uh, girl said that, that you were sent to... Help out people? Uh, yes, 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 I did. I guess then that we must be those people. Aren't we always the people? Hey, that, that is, is, a, is a that better is a than just that at one the same time. time. I've magically been transported this to This happened realm. last time. Last time? Let me guess time. there was mist. Yes. Yep, sounds about right. Yep. I'm going to need a drink. Well, I just so happen to not have any. <laughs> What is that going to do? One day, I have a feeling I'm going to end up killing you. <laughs> so what would y'all like to do moving forward? We are still, I guess, still traveling so down the mountain. So it's like middle of the night. It's the middle of the night. And but when we, you're, feel, we feel rested, though. Like, you feel I mean, rested, yeah. aside from like the, the amount of damage. Yeah. Okay. Also, she's or whoever's in chat did point out. I said full damage. That I guess I said it weird. Okay, that, that yeah, makes yeah. Sense. You take full damage, you fools. <laughs> anyway, so um, we were heading down the mountain. Apparently, there's a, a town to Shivana. Yeah, Shivan, Shivanye. Well, Shivana. that's obviously where we could find a drink. No, they said it was a ruined town full of ghosts. Oh, well, never mind then. But there's what? another town across the way, but I think we have to go through the ruined town to get over there. Yeah. So. Mm. Because have we, we, have we had and... our fill of running through the woods? I'd like to think that that's one You're, thing we there, can agree on. Okay, just so y'all know, y'all would see it by now, there are two pathways down the mountain. One goes to Shivani and the other goes No, to... no, it's, they all go to the same spot, but you have a hiking trail that goes straight down. Mm-hmm. That is less, it, it's, it, it's more woody. But then you have the what looks like a cart trail, which zigzags. Do they both look traveled-ish? Yeah, they look pretty well traveled. Like it's just that going through the. Uh, Need to cut it. Oh yeah, the, going down the hiking trail, you're going to see a lot of. It, it's going to be a lot of stuff in the way, and you're going straight through the. Uh, it's, God, okay, so it's the music, okay. But yeah. I just, I feel like one thing we can agree on is we've had enough of traipsing through the woods without a trail underfoot and where I can't fly. So, car trail anymore? I will wash the ground if then you can wash the air. Fair enough. I'm surprised you're not watching the trees. Why would they be watching the trees? Don't ask. Don't ask. But her did. 
Too late. No mm-hmm. answers. Mm-hmm. No, dude. I'll, I'll put you in. They, they have some issues. You have issues, too. You have issues trying to... So far, okay, seems to have the least issues. Look, short story, all right? We all maybe sort of died after going crazy in a really crazy place that maybe doesn't exist anymore, and now we're supposed to go and do something to clear up something for somebody else because they brought us back without even asking. Oh, so you've been... You, you're you rightfully fucked and stuck here. Yes! Okay! And so are it. you. This sounds like this book Yes, I've but that went without saying. I took a ghost baby's hand and ended up here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sucks X, doesn't it? Actually, that's not a bad thing. It Whatever. helps you survive. Are we it's protein. Mm-hmm. We're moving. We're moving. Okay. So, y'all are able to get down the mountain. It takes about an hour. Or about yes. 30 minutes or so, I'll say. Uh, you do notice the clouds are starting to congeal and kind of obscure the uh, moon a bit as if, like, you might see some rain coming. I want to pause. Like, I'm assuming there will be, like, a last, like, high point before we actually get into Shivani proper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to pause on that ridge and take a really damn good look at the town. Okay, so <laughs> you're able to get into a clearing. Uh, give me... In, do you want to just, like, quick glance, or are you actually, like, looking? I want to see what the okay, hell I'm walking into. Okay, give <laughs> So... Can any of the rest of us do that as well? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, everyone can do it if they need to. Oh, damn. I don't think 26. Hey, 26. Hey, Preacher has other concerns. Stealing my thunder. I rolled a two and got an 11. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay, wow. so what you notice... At you, the light is. You have dark vision, though, right? Um, no. I don't think you do. No, no, I don't. You, there's the, no bunnies, there's bunnies enough, don't get night vision. Apparently, there's enough. Uh, yeah. However, there's enough light even with the cloud cover. <laughs> yeah, there's enough light even with the cloud cover that you can see these, and y'all see this too. But starting with him, you see these uh, ruined buildings. You see large towers going down the main road. And you see just overgrowth, just filling up. Some are in the houses, some are just... It looks like this place has been abandoned for ages. Uh, You two, Mm -hmm. with high enough perception, y'all see that and focusing in and just like taking a look. You notice the main road, but every now and then you see something fall or... Like, one of the bricks moves a bit. You so, saw that brick move? Uh, hmm? Ghost, right. They, they they said there might be ghosts there. I think it would behoove us to, you know, take the time to go around. They didn't... How it. close it, does the, like, wilderness uh, creep around the edges of this place? What Is you notice, you, despite being a clearing, the only real op- the only real place that isn't, like, overgrowth is the road. Yeah. So like it looks the, like nature, it, nature has reclaimed. Yeah. Nature has reclaimed the edges. Y'all would have it would be. We'd be hacking and, and slashing trying to get through. Yeah. yeah, and it looks it looks from <laughs> what y'all can tell. We have a path clearing device. What you notice is that, that people do worked. People do still take the road through Shivani. It looks like. Uh, and probably in daylight though. I mean, you don't know. I mean, if, if 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 ghosts, you know, are in fact a real thing, I'm not saying they are. Like, <laughs> we the how ghosts, ghosts, ghosts are real. How, I would how rather would deal with ghosts. I mean, does, does magic work? Do regular weapons work? Do we need something like you ghosts? are a no. religious fellow? You should know this. We no no no. We've decided that he only thinks he's a religious fellow. What's the difference if you think you're religious or actually religious? The fact is that he can't do shit. I'm just pissed at everything right now. There's no coming back. I'm I'm doing my darndest here, okay? (laughs) Here, hold on. One second. And uh, I'm going to rummage within the cloak underneath my leathers and then produce a small, faintly glowing purple crystal. Um, This will make you feel slightly better. It's never hurt me when I've held it. Um, it just kind of warm and makes you feel a little happy. No. The fuck was that? What is that? I need to feel happy. 
Uh, Tuck this back in. So, you insist on going through the town? It it seems that way. Option. I mean, uh, look at that damn overgrowth. And Either then that, or we set up a camp and wait for daylight. Does you Dave... love the daylight, right? Does day even come here? Why wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Came... I've been to at least three other planes of reality. We just came from a place that didn't have daytime. Mm-hmm. Well, we had daytime. It just was bullshit. That's a terrible daytime. <sighs> I am going well, to do perception check to see that if the that rattling I, is getting you in the I don't closet. remember. Go ahead. I'm tired of the... I'm tired of the... That is a 29. 29. Good God. So Plus as you're looking around, you, you see the... Uh, oh, I love this. This would be good for it. <laughs> you hear... You first hear it in the bushes that are the, in the overgrowth. And then you see the trees on the outskirts a little bit ways off the road. That you just see just Joan just uh, like basically just uh, like just like pops open that the probably now kind of like halfway bluish and eerily glowing just lantern. And then that these fireflies just come out, just start just surrounding him like it's about you to go hear a whizzing s- past your ear. Swarm keep. Hmm? Both ears. <laughs> I'm immediately casting um, Guardian of Faith, basically right in the midst of us. So theoretically, it'll protect all, okay. all four of us, because it's a. I think it's a ten foot. Right, and then we got it's us some company, foot. and then I do not like yes. skittering in the night. Yes, we do. How close was the f- by my ears? It was like right next to your ear. It's close. Y'all haven't seen anything, though. Y'all, y'all have seen things happen, but you haven't seen like an entity. We're staying right here where this thing can keep a watch over us. We're waiting what? until daylight. So, wait, how long does that last? Guardian of Faith is eight hours. Ca- Cast one action, eight hours, ten foot radius of protection. Mm. Gotta love the spells that you forget. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we already ate, I guess, then that uh, I can do watch last. I can go first. I was just relaxing in my camp eating mm. vegetable soup. We were dead and we woke up. We're fine. All right. I'll let y'all finish. Um, so we're, we're walking, right? No, no, we're staying right here. Between your big ass chick and this, we're good. What is that? It's a guardian. What does it uh, look oh. like? Nothing except a shimmer and uh, looks like it has a shield with um, if you've seen Saluni's symbol mm-hmm. before, it looks like that, but where the eyes should be blue and where the star should be silver, it's all black. Oh. Neat. I mean, now, whatever that this damn skittering is, that, you know, that don't worry, then that, you know, that no. we will get it. Okay, so y'all are going to hunker down? Mm-hmm. Seems so. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's get some watches. Uh, I'll, that's what I was taking first, so I got to roll with disadvantage. Because, well, if I hit the nose ring that lights up, do I still have disadvantage? So, I'll let you roll. Boop, roll. I mean, it, it's ring. pretty. Nose turned on. <laughs> uh, that is a twelve. Okay. So I'm you're all look- garbage, but my bonuses at least make it average. So you're looking around. You're not seeing anything. You see the occasional... Satellite cheers. Like, you're just sitting there on the main road, and you're seeing just occasionally... This is an absolutely wonderful place I've come to. Yes. Everybody together. No. I'm going to put this one between the one with the big pokey Mm. stick. (laughs) Who's been grumpy since we met. You see something in the woods. 
It's just a figure staring at the party. I'm gonna roll a d4 to see who I thump. <laughs> Shit, I'm thumping thunderclap. <laughs> just. Oh shit, can you, can you talk? Do, do you understand me? Do you? Do you see that? It's just sitting there. <laughs> Magical void eyes, do you see it? Okay. I would like to think that I'm not actually sleeping that deep. Same. I'm uh, gonna... Roll again, see. What happened? Oh, he's this trying time. to decide who he's thumping. No, I'm rolling to see who I'm thumping, and the first one I thumped was your statue, and it's like, that yeah, rolled a three, so. Hi. That. It's you a see a shadow uh, form of a person in the woods you staring. You seem to be a little bit more familiar with this, because I'm mostly used to the Feywild and the brief stint in Pandemonium. Um, but, uh, that... All of that. I didn't want to lose an arrow and or ask it to dinner. I didn't. Just I'm new and I need to fill out the waters because the one that's over there sleeping with a very angry face. I didn't think she would sleep with an angry face. Look at that. <laughs> that snoring is aggressive. I feel like you took like some uh, charcoal and just like drew on angry eyebrows. <laughs> Seeing a half dozen or it was like a dozen um, kids get killed right in front of me will do that to you. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do realize well. if she shows up, she's dead, right? Metal we'll Dread's see. Dead. I'm gonna try something. Don't freak out. It's okay. I have Ooh. replacement characters. <laughs> so this figure that's in the woods, how far away is it? About forty feet. Okay, good. Um, behind it, I am going to cast minor illusion of a uh, voice going, hey, behind it. As soon as you do that, the figure disappears. Okay, so I'm not normal. No. Nope. Not just a random wood child that brought me here. This place is oh. weird. Yeah, it's only gonna get more weird. I suspect. I'll be honest, I want to say I won't be surprised, but I've You'll lived feel in... a cold chill down your spine. Yep, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We are not that far from the Feywild. Odd crap happening all the time. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and um, knock an arrow. Oh, we got a new follower. Hey! Yay, thank you! I don't know. I don't know which way. Thank you, Colossus 1815. Hell yeah! Fuck yeah. So. Anyway, so, um, y'all feel a chill in your spine. You might want and... to wake up your friends, because if I do it, I'm afraid one of them, both of them, will stab me. Hey, Jolan, wake up. I was up in the middle of a nice dream. What is it? That. Yeah. There's nothing there. They it moved. A as you look at them, you see a, fi a shadow figure behind them, just out of reach of hers. And arrow is just not. And Dewey just opened the door. <laughs> that the awesome. arrow. Don't you know that the arrow is just not like <laughs> slowly turn behind y'all. It's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell do you want, figure? And he's back. Thank you, Dewey. I love you too. <laughs> how it goes. How it goes. So is this is this thing standing near me? No, uh, it's behind the two of us. Behind the two of them. He looked into the woods and then looked back at them and it's just out of reach of your uh and you just see it sitting there. You wanna well it's not doing anything yet. You wanna uh you wanna wait going up? to speak up in a uh, common halfling. Well, no, I don't have half wing anymore, do I? Half yeah, you do. Okay. Because you still have the lineage. Oh, it. okay, then. You, you still have the proficiencies oh, and gotcha. the skills from that. You just don't have the lineage. Like, you don't, have the, half, you don't have the traits. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, going to, well... Druidic. Sylvan. And Infernal. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. So, what and is your right? You speak the devil's tongue too? Yes, I do. <laughs> I learned it from that one. Yeah, I'm asleep. <laughs> you might want to wake up the other Yahoo. Now, uh, going to then yeah, speak. One of y'all do it. Y'all. What are you? Then going to speak in Goblin. Oh, shit. Oh. Gave out one. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. But, at, okay, so you're, what language are you speaking to the Spectre? Uh, I started, I did Sylvan first, then I was going to do Infernal, but because Joe London did Infernal, then I'm going to do Goblin. You're getting no responses. I'm gonna try Elvish. Not even an Elvish. Uh, dang. Anybody here speak Another a follower. Pistol? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. you. Who is Rooster CF 87? I have no, no idea, but, know, thank, but you. thank you. I thank hope you. you're enjoying it. I like Rooster. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, a lot of things happened on screen just at once, yeah. but... Yeah. Okay, you're trying to communicate. They don't seem to be moving. Okay. You do not, notice not, not, something. Not turning, not turning around the whole time doing this, just like... You notice something. They're standing like this, and they seem to be hunched over them, just out of reach of your stuff. But it looks like something's in their hand. I have a passive of 20. Can I tell what it is? Looks like a head. It's a head. Is it holding? Okay. Oh, Actually, you have a passive of 20. You recognize the head. As the shadows sort of recede, it looks like Madrid. It's a head of Madrid. What? You have no idea who that is. I'm it is Madrid's head. Okay. Wait, so uh, you're saying Madrid's here? No, or the head. It? it is holding a goddamn head. It is Madrid. Wake, no. wake up, uh, Vipera, Vipera. Huh, how what? close? How close behind? Look at creepy this wise thing. guy. Uh, what is the uh, what is the radius of your ten foot? Ten feet. So it's just about five feet outside of that. Rothgar. Oh, okay. Rothgar. Hey, Rothgar. Oh, hey, that, hey, hey. Uh, Benedict is going to roll forward and turn with an arrow drawn. So we are both so, having arrows. So you got like that, and the figure shadow comes out, and you see like a, a man with dirty blonde hair, similar features to someone you've met. Uh, pallid skin, uh, five o'clock shadow holding a head of a woman that you've never met before. And he looks at you and it's like, I committed this sin and I can never bring it back. And he starts walking towards y'all. Okay. So how does the... Uh, As... Well, Jolon wakes me up. And I see that yeah. this thing is holding Madrid's head. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand up. And... I want to... lean forward a little bit toward this specter or whatever it is. Mm. Thanks for that. Saved me a lot of trouble. I did this to the Elton Wild and we can never go back. And he continues to go forward as... I don't see it as a hostile creature, so my guardian's not going to attack it. Good sir, I suggest you stop. I suggest you stop. Give me a charisma save. As the figure dissipates. Nope. That is a six. Ouch. <laughs> That's a six. Huh? Thank you. Appropriate up. music. <laughs> First party death. I at least waited. <laughs> okay. Do you see his eyes glow bright white and then he turns well let's see closest person and takes you notch an arrow and shoot it okay okay that is a uh 20 30 yeah. 20 yeah that hits oh shit Joel. all right and i do i also add the swarm damage too do you no, this okay, just entity wouldn't know your 
okay. main abilities. So then that would be 12 points of piercing. Okay. Now, and you hear through his voice, and it's like, I have committed this sin. I have committed this sin. As that happens, now I'm freaking the fuck out because Jolon's attacking people again. Mm. So the Guardian's going to see that as a hostile creature and attack. Deck okay. save. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Is the dude there gone? No. No, the guy's is, gone. No. Okay. Uh, 20 radiant damage. <laughs> It's okay. It is okay. Ow! It is okay. Still resistant. What the fuck, Jolon? Do I still say all of that? Like, I have committed this sin? Yeah. I can't reach it. Reach what? The arrow in my back. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! You... That's meaning for you to break if you don't ask. Jolon turns to you and you see pure white pearl eyes. How? 8 HP. And you hear, you hear him uh, talk, but it's not HP. his voice. Uh, healing hands. You, you don't you have healing hear, hands anymore. What would he you, say? You lose all your racial abilities, but you, or sorry, you lose all your lineage abilities, but you get. You hear him say, just, "I have doomed this land." I have doomed this land. You get. Um, and what? Do you have any those. melee weapons? Yes, I have a short sword. It replaces yourself. And he's going to try and stab at it you. It doesn't replace anything else. Oh well, I try healing hands. That that is a twenty-eight. That's Thank you for hit. the pat. Um. Thank you. What the fuck is happening? That that is out eight. What are they doing? Eight piercing. Um, having the beef, I guess. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. This is going um, from okay. beef to oxen. I I do see like I, I see the Jolon's eyes aren't. I mean, if the it goes full fucking buffalo. The that they were just a bit ago, they're mm. something different. I would like to try dispel magic on whatever's got hold of Jolon. Okay. Uh, um, you try and dispel magic, it does not go. Okay, alright, so, uh... I think at this point, we need to roll initiative. Probably. I need to mark things down. Hang on. That was eight damage, Joe? Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Is that a six or a nine? Oops. Uh, bottom... Okay. That the dot is on the bottom. I need to double check my guardian. Mm-hmm. That's all going down. Watching you guys punch each other again. Actually, no, this will be the first time I've seen him actually. So, yeah, you were dead before. Yeah. Physical. It's like, oh, it's really, it's really gone up, hasn't it? Crit 20 on initiative. Oh, God. Crit 20. Okay, oh, yeah, Vipera, what is 30, that total? 22. 22? Okay. What was your total? Okay, so... Good thing I rolled low. What did you roll? I rolled an 11. 11? Okay, so... Where's... Are we rolling this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, we are. Damn. Good job. <laughs> of course there's a fight. What is there not a fight? Uh, that is a 26. Thank y'all, Jesus. y'all rolled... <laughs> You go first. Okay, so the scene is they're fighting. Yeah. Ghost is gone. Seemingly, yeah. All right. Spiritual Garden attacking that one. Mm hmm. Sorry, my turn. May I make a wisdom roll to see if I can start piecing things together? Yeah. Uh, that's a 16. 16. Whatever was coming towards y'all did something to him. Stop! This is not their fault. Have you been in the Feywild long? I've been attacked by them before, as I'm like... (laughs) Trying to back up a little bit. It's not going to be super fucking asshole-y. Troll person? <laughs> I don't have that one. That would be really fucking useful. I do, but I'm not using it on you, so suck it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you, you had tried to kill me once. You got my kids killed. I'm killing you if I get the opportunity. All right, uh, I don't want to use magic on this. Um, do what you no. have to do. 
Do what you want. You're still small, aren't you? Down your weapon. They didn't do this to me on purpose. And I will make a persuasion check. Go ahead. Which one do I you? do I counter that with anything? Uh counter it with the wisdom or you can accept it. Depends on like I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. The the para is not really willing to listen at this point, so counter it with a wisdom that's a dirty, check. That's a dirty twenty. Yeah, just do a wisdom mm-hmm. check and if you beat his you yeah. can you can resist, I guess. Like I don't usually Seventeen plus four is twenty one. You win. <laughs> not listening. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, in that case, bonus action. Nice try, though. <laughs> no, not gonna use a bonus action here. Just gonna... Tried! Tried. <laughs> okay, so, Vipira, it is your turn. <clears throat> Do your worst. Yeah, I have a, um, yes. can in the fridge. Please. I can... Okay, get you one. I'm Water. good. You're good. You could just take that and do it in there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you good? Uh, do you need more? Well, I'll take more. Okay. Yep. I'm just a freaking barmaid. So, yeah. as a level 8, um, my necrotic resistance, damn it, my necrotic damage ignores resistance, and I've got channel divinity boosts to hits on melee so i'm going to I'm very sorry <laughs> it's fine we're gonna we're gonna scythe <laughs> it's fine did you match it crit fail on the attack y'all are uh in melee range and he's going at you and you're just trying just to hit a giant him. clash probably yeah yeah so he's able to kind of parry your move as you're going in all right. Um. So the guardian does damage at the start of your turn. How right? much is that? But it's at the start of your turn. It'll be twenty again. But okay. At the start of your turn. Okay. And so, so that's that's gonna be my turn because I, I used an attack and it failed. Let's see. Okay. Right. So Joan, it is now your turn. Joan or preacher? Who are you? Art to? preacher. <laughs> Joan Art preacher. Okay. As I as I miss the strike, I'm gonna look at preacher and be like, "Stay out of this!" <laughs> <laughs> you were dead the last time they tried to kill me. Just stay out of A it. Part of me just wants to put you both out of my misery. <laughs> well, if you turn on me, the guardian turns on you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's, like, there is a lot of animosity in this party starting out. Nothing a fireball can't fix. <laughs> Fire resistance. It's like, fireball, get her, thunderclap. <laughs> Actually, I think, uh, well, you're both one size smaller than uh, my yeah. metal, and mm-hmm. so trample. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Do, I have any do what you can to a D. I'm fine. I got a backup. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure preacher preacher would know something's up. Um, I'm gonna find what I'm gonna look around for whatever this thing is. Yeah, give me a, a, I guess an investigation check. Investigation. Or a perception. I'll be leaning. Investigation it is. A genius. Uh, you don't see where this creature's at, but you do notice he's acting a bit funny after it oh, disappears. I know he's acting funny. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> but you're a skeptic, so you're not really piecing it together as much as you should. I wouldn't say skeptic's the right thing. <laughs> ah, bright light. Bright light, bright light, bright light. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, your food is in there. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope you know. That's all I know about that line. Like a douche. Like a yeah. that revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. Deuce. There it is. Deuce. I'm sorry. There's an old BH1 skit with uh, P. Diddy. It's douche. Everybody knows it's douche. Revved up like a douche. Clean but you don't know. 
That was the video. Uh, skeptic's not the right word. Uh, he just doesn't believe in ghosts. No, he completely does. <laughs> he's, a, he's a zealot for Paylor. No, he, he's just trolling at the moment. No, like, he's not trolling. He's like, ghosts aren't real. Ghosts can't hurt me. Kind of like the kid. Just oh, hiding yeah. underneath the bed sheets. Oh, There's okay. no monster in the closet. So you can't really see. <laughs> <Denial>. what... <laughs> the, bu- you... the giant rabbit. You know something's up with him, is all I can say. You don't see anything. Actually, with the investigation check uh, 22, you do see a a ball of light. Hard to see in the distance, but it's in Shivani. And it seems to be heading in your direction. How far off? About 100 feet or so. Okay. What's, what's the range on Sacred Flame? Uh, uh, stand by, stand by, stand by. Oh, um. 60 feet. Yes. Okay, I was gonna say I got a card back here because my phone is garbage. Two. Okay. Uh, I I've got it. Where is it? Dang it, Dewey! Yeah. I'm doing <laughs> so much. Uh, oh, right. The doors are opening over their own accord. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna have to clip these specifically, just like randomly doors open while Chris is like, and I don't believe in ghost doors. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. It's like Halloween all over again. Don't you bring that evil in my house. LeBlanc brought that <laughs> evil in my house. LeBlanc got me secondhand haunted from dawn. <laughs> the light's out of range. Jolon's acting weird. Uh, off the cuff, I'm going to cast Protection from Good and Evil on Jolon. Alright, what does that do? Uh, stand by. I can look it up. I can look it up. It stops you from having to deal with door-to-door salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you uh, pick? Sweet husband? Yes. Why are there no uh, bulbs in the bathroom? Oh, because they're here. Ah. And they're off. Okay. <laughs> We're not okay. using those now? There's bulbs on the, the bulbs are on the counter. I just... Are, the, are, are those going to be the ones that go in there? <laughs> those are the bulbs that go in there. I'll, I'll do it because you I, can't read. I, I, okay. I, I, Protection from good and evil used. until the spell okay. ends. One willing creature you touch is protected. You have to touch it. Is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elemental, fey, fiend, and undead. This protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such creature, the target has advantage on any new saving throw against the relevant effect. Okay, so. Aberration, Celestial, Elemental, Faith, Eve, and Undead. It's not or, it's and. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Aberration, Celestial, Elemental, Faith, Eve, and Undead. It doesn't say you have to choose. Well, don't you have to choose good or evil? No, or? it's protection from good and evil. Okay. It's a powerful spell. So, at the moment, you don't see any effect. Is that okay. your turn? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take five feet of movement, run up, hit you with it. You see, y'all see the, his hand glow white as Mm -hmm. he presses the spell into his chest. Is that your turn? I am going to take, uh, more movement and move away. (laughs) So you're going to take an attack of opportunity. That's no, I got probably not going to hit. No, that's an 11. No, that's a mess. Okay. So he takes a swing. As he takes a swing, <sighs> Jolon, give me a charisma save with advantage. Okay, where's Tristan? Natural 1 and a 18 plus uh, 2 is a The 20. 18 actually does it. As you swing, uh, you see the handprint is still on his chest, and you hear... <gasps> As the uh, you see the ghost behind him get dispelled outward and just flutter out. While it's, can I, so okay, I've already had my turn. Can I have attack of opportunity against the ghost? Because it's forced out. Oh. Um. It, well, it was forced out. Then, forced it chose, movement, but then it chose. Yeah, it, you're right. Yeah, it's forced yeah. movement. My uh, Eidolon, is she gonna share the turn with me, or do I? Yeah, she she. Okay, so go ahead and do that. So yeah, we get to... ghost is out. Uh, big uh, lady is going to. <laughs> do we need a mini for the ghost? Okay. And uh, it's invisible. Why? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> wait, we, we just 
just saw it. It it dissipated. Well, but there's still that we, light. We watched it get, you know, Doctor Stephen Strange soul punched out, and then yeah. it just kind of went to wherever it was going. We, I guess, it's like, ah! like it it. You saw it for about five feet, and then it just dissipated. I should say. I'm sorry, I didn't explain that right. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know the statue. The statue is going to, uh... So, this thing, we just watched it. Yeah. Before, okay. Um... It is going, my, my statue is going to hold a uh, attack action. Just around? Okay, so, Jolan, are you doing anything? Well, this was at the end of your turn, so you can't really do anything aside right. from sit there. You're... I am I just going to be like, are you good? I am sick and tired of this shit always going on. Does that sound normal? You're sick and tired? Why am I always the one getting attacked when you go crazy? I got you're attacked! As y'all are arguing, y'all see a light heading... Also, there's that. Yeah, yeah it's it is on the main road. It's heading upward towards y'all, and as it gets closer, you it looks like a figure, but it, there's also a light somewhere. Hold. We will handle it after we deal with the spook. Uh, are you saying hold to I'm, the? I'm saying hold to the person with the light. Uh, hello. Name. If Vladred, is it, are are you okay up there? No. Why are you out here in Shivani at night? Question that I don't know the answer to. Why are you out here in Shivani at night? I was taking a piss outside my vatos and I heard some noise. Outside your what? My vatos. His house. Our house. My caravan. Okay. Oh! May I approach, please? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute. And he shuffles up. As this person gets closer, you notice uh, they have this long, flowing, dark hair, uh, well-maintained beard, uh, pretty handsome, you know? Uh, lots of jewelry, very vibrant. Uh, if y'all want to give me a history check. I was going to ask, can I make it with advantage because I'm a planes hopper? Yes. Yeah, hopper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get that? Hopper. Uh, okay. Oh. What, this is history? a his history? That's yeah. a 17. 16. 16? Oh. History is a... I have no bonus. So that is a 21. Oh, you all know this is a Vistani. Or at least they have the cultural specifics of a Vistani person. Oh, are you of the family? Yes. Yeah. All right. Huh? Uh, that's how my my tree paw told me to call them. They're part of the family. Oh. Oh. You're what? I was raised by a tree. My tree paw. Okay. It's okay. It's, ha it's, it's weird. weird. I told it's you. always trees. I, I just heard some commotion. I felt compelled to come, come help. Uh, By the way, there's something around here that's invisible, possessing people, and also it, it's okay. This I will handle that in a second. He's in the and he hits a amulet right here, and you see like a blast of light, and you hear screeching. Well, oh, that'll hold it off for a minute. We, we, we should move to wherever mm -hmm. your yeah. yes. spot is. Yes, I was. Whose idea was to camp here? Well, I certainly wasn't going to walk through that without protection. Just pointing. Camping was without protection, apparently, either. Protection! You did so Stop good, arguing. sweetheart! Stop arguing. You're burning time. Let's go. I was you, walking and come on, come on. Uh, right. <laughs> allowed me to bring you to our Vordos. So you can actually have something to sleep in. Yes? You, you you enjoy an actual warm place to sleep. So let's go. Just stay close to me and I shall help. Does, does he just mean like next to a fire? Is he talking about a bed? I've never had one of those. Well, we'll find out when we get there. Oh, okay. So, so rules as written. My guardian they, doesn't move. They, they, so I have to drop it. They, they, okay. 
they travel throughout. And also, the the, I think they, they, they go through the, they, they the freely travel. Right? No, because you weren't hostile okay. anymore. So nomads. We're yes, multi-dimensional nomads. Yes. Also, they come from a place called Barovia. Never go there. It's you hear well, the blood I, sausage is good, and it is not worth the I, hassle. I do not go to Barovia very much, honestly. It was terrible. Simple, all I did was preach to small towns. Well, maybe you'll get to preach to some small towns, but I'm sure the people here will not like it. Anyway, come with me. Mm-hmm. Let us go through the ship on it. Here was a great market once, but it is a little bit destroyed, a little bit disheveled. Yes, I do see a wall at the start of it. Yeah. Yes, there is a wall, but not much else. I don't know how the walls are right, but you know that is how it is. Much like life here. Is a beautiful tower, very phallic, but mm-hmm. it is kind of crumbling at the top. That they need to get that looked at. <laughs> they do make medication for that. They make medication. I'm sure the whole town needs a good looking at. I mean, I enjoyed the town. The do you enjoy? The ruins. But, but why it has is that so much moving? history here. You see. Do you know the town? Ta- do you know the history of the Elden Yeah, we don't know anything. We got dragged here. No, no I was brought here by a ghost baby. Second time here. Oh, well, I could tell you Speaking so of much bitch, things. You don't look dead. You look a little bit green, though. Do you need something to drink? Yes. We have wine and mead at uh, my tent. Okay. See? But is we it... finally found a place to drink. But is it normal? Well, what do you mean? Is it made from people? I don't make anything. Okay, good. Thanks. Oh, you're going to have a lot of fun here. I'm just no, saying I'm it. No, I'm not. Good uncle. Please forgive her. She is, she has had some severe trauma. Oh, I'm, I have heard of your people. I am I am pleased to meet you, sir. Benedict Cucumber Patch. A beautiful name. Beautiful name. I am Vlastrid. Oh, Vlastrid. Yes. There's so many dreads. Yes. So many dreads in Slavic mythology. Well, back, back in the Feywild, there was a very long time where all the girls were named Kelsey and all the boys were named Jaden. They keep just naming their kids like this. I don't. But they added that. H's to Jaden. But you know, people not where you thought though. Some people call me Jayden? Vlad. If you want to call me Vlad, I hear you know that that has some bad connotations. So Vlastrid is usually. Usually what I Vlad, do. I... Vladstrid or Vlastrid? Vlastrid. Is there a D or it just goes to the S? V- V-L-A-S-T-I-D. Okay. You threw me off with the saying, call me Vlad thing. Well, some people do call okay. me Vlad. Not it, it's kind of like Richard and Dick. It doesn't Ah, uh, Or Gilliam and Bill. Exactly. Anyway, he kind of, as he's going through Shivani, he's actually telling you stories of all the places. It's like, oh yes, this is where the old apothecary was. They discovered many great things. And then he goes to the next thing, and as he's going through, uh, about... This is a lovely tour guide. Yeah. As he... Honestly, Tenet was kind of my inspiration. <laughs> so. And as y'all get at, a little bit out of town, you see like a place lit up just out of re- just out of town about 10 minutes and it is a uh, caravan in a circle you see where a fire once was not so- you just see like the embers it's like come on this is ways off you must have gone a lot of good distance to, to, to be fair i heard a calling oh. uh it's it's hard to explain uh my people what was it like at this little Decrepit little girl of some sort? Of Not exactly. It, it, I think that, that that might be a Benedict exclusive. I'm sorry. Wow. Be glad. It was well, creepy as hell. If you've seen the spirits of Shivani, that is. That means a lot. That is significant. Which is probably why I was compelled to come into Shivani, even though I was taking piss, you know. You, you can't. You cannot, Chaos piss machina! Oh, you, you cannot. Decide when the threads of fate decide to pull. <laughs> Full glad am I you came. I mean, <laughs> just like that, the just had a thread of fate pulled on them. Just that to aside to just like Vipira just gonna be like, well, it seems that I am just out of my <laughs> after <laughs> luck. Oh well. No, that's Nate. Ball called his Nate. 
Hmm. Toot toot. Yes. Yes, Nathan. Toot toot. Yeah. Anyhow, why don't By the way, I'm going to say this. Cheers still to Rooster C87. Thank you Yay. so much. I know it's been like an hour, but I'm still. It's only been like 20 minutes. It's been an eternity. Anyway. I'm a rabbit. I have a short lifespan. It's been six years since I met you, and they've not been friendly. Please, uh, you can sleep in my Vardos. Just keep, you know, keep it down a bit because my family is sleeping in there. Okay. Yes. But come, come, come. Have some bread and wine. Would you enjoy some? Yes. Thank Uncle, you what would you like from us, though, in exchange for the bread and wine? It's fine. Just. No, I understand I... the rules of hospitality. Look. I was out there for a reason, and I found you. This... Uncle, I live in the Feywild. Nothing is given freely. What do you wish in exchange? If the threats wine? of fate willed me to you, you have importance. You and who am I to deny the threats of fate? Both ears go a little stiff. And you're going to see Benedict reach in his pouch. And pull out. Uh, you're gonna see a little glass bottle produced, and inside of it is a swirling white mist with a grumpy face. His name is Elowen. He is most unhappy about his current situation, so please don't let him out. It took a minute to get him in there. I give this to you, Uncle, in exchange. For a place to sleep, and bread, and wine. I and understand. Th th there is a, there's a noticeable burr building up in the back of this rabbit's throat. I understand. I shall take this. This is a very good gift. Worthy. You're sending a bitch. Don't you give him to me. <laughs> I won't. What the fuck do you want? Oh, you are very feisty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you will be very fun for my kids here. <laughs> anyway, what? go ahead. Is I... that a box of Fiora or a shake? <laughs> I'm going to take that off my inventory. But, Glad that's gone. meta knowledge, if you do another sense anything, there is not a dead presence of them anymore. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, please let us. You do what you need to do in the in the Feywild to survive. Also, the rules of hospitality must be upheld. That is fine. I am more than willing to uh, accommodate your customs. But here, go. There are plenty of pillows and nice blankets. Just make yourself at home. Just watch out for the kids. They are they are sleeping right now. Okay. And I shall. What kind of wine do you like? Just give me just straight. Just straight whatever you got. The strongest. Stuff straight you got. whatever, yes. The strongest. Uncle, I'll take whatever you give. Okay. Whatever you give. Okay, and would you like bread with that? Or some cheese, no. maybe? You would, would Just you? big, <laughs> shimmering gold and orange <laughs> eyes. Oh, Benedict. Wow. No, no, I've been that. I've already been a little bit just gassy, bloody, and fine. <laughs> well, okay, friend. Sounds like you need to go to the <laughs> apothecary if it's yeah, you bloody. will be okay. And he hits you right there. And you heal up 14. Okay. Math is hard. So. Jolan. Yes. He, yeah. As you all get into the uh, into the Vardos, which is actually, it's the Vistani name for a car, basically. It's... Are uh, there multiple carts there? Yeah, there's multiple carts. You see about 15 no, carts. I'm not going to get into the cart directly. Right. No. Jolan. Yes. Considering you inadvertently did this, could you please help? Yes, I can, Danette. You just basically just see like a firefly. Just basically just sit on it, and then I am going to sear that wound with cure wounds. That is going to be a good old-fashioned 7 HP. Thank you. I knew you knew the ways. Um, 
while um, this individual is gathering our yeah eats and mm-hmm. drinks, um, I'm going to kind of follow him over, like under the pretension of helping to carry stuff back. Mm-hmm. But um, I want to ask him, um, do you have any any milk? Would you like milk? Yes. I can get you some milk. Is there any preferred type of milk? No, just just milk. Okay. Just yells and a goat comes walking out. Ultra <laughs> 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 pasteurized, two percent. You know what? Two percent, one percent. You know the water pretending to be milk. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Do you want whoa, whoa. almond milk? Do you want soy milk? Those, okay, the almond milk's super bad for the environment. It is true. Any any milk that's wild. That's racist. Wow! <laughs> well, you know what? Some milk is yellow. Like, bar milk is yellow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm and chocolate milk wow. and strawberry milk. Oh, wow. 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 Wow, but vanilla milk is good. Uh, we we see how... Vanilla milk is kind of yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not brought to you by Diamond. Or okay. Uh, uh, he, Hashtag don't want to be brought where to you. Where you see him rummaging through, he lifts up another because he's going through the cards, mm-hmm. and he reaches up and you see like a little milk jug, and he hands it to you. It's like it's fresh this morning. We bought it uh, in one of the towns, I believe it was from Uribos, but it should be good. They do good work there. Thank you. Um, how how much longer until dawn? Uh, it is about uh, middle of the night, a little bit after middle of the night, so about four or five hours. Thank you. You will you will know when it is dawn because we you will see us stirring and you will be presented with food. That, that's fine. Thank you. Help but, carry stuff back. Yeah. Like. He, despite saying y'all didn't want any food, he does have, like, these loaves of bread and some cheeses. You see he has, like, aged cheddar. He has, uh... Some gruyere. Some gruyere. Yeah. Just let's just, personal charcuterie. Let, let's yeah. just... We are all the little boy that wanted more cheese yeah. from Belgian folklore. <laughs> yeah, no, he... And, like, I mean, he has the type of cheese that has, like, the berries in it and everything. And, Ooh, and he has, like, a blue cheese. cheese. He's like, here, here. Like I said, just be be careful. And the tent, or not the tent, but the Vardos is really big. And as y'all get in, y'all notice like he has like two kids sleeping. And you see a woman sleeping next to them. I'm going to stay kind of near the, like the entry of the one. Yeah. Benedict's going to stay outside. Outside, just basically kind of like on that the... Far in, we're trying not to. We're trying not to, we're trying not to invade too much space. Right, and then right. they're just gonna still stay close, but just okay. sleep on the outside. Oh, I'm gonna I'm be sure. on the inside. I'm very sorry, Uncle. I sleep better outside. That is fine. The, the space is here for you if you need it. But here, here is some. And he hands out some glasses. Now tell me, what brings you here? I saw you coming from the witch's hut. Where? The witch's hut up up the mountain. I didn't. Oh, you he, were. He showed he up. Is, I, I'm, he I'm a bit of a, 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 a Susie come lately. He is a plus one to our. He, m- uh, oh, interesting. It has been a. It's been a very strange. Strange. I mean, I'm I'm sort of I still don't even know this one's name. Oh, I'm gonna put that, my finger back. You are like a bit. Oh, it it seems like there is. Your entry into this realm is fairly new, then. Yeah. Um, going on... We, we... Half past Freckle o'clock. Oh. We, we recently came from a place. I don't... I don't... I'm trying to think of what it is. It's just every... It's like you see something, but you only see it out of the corner of your eye. When you look, it's not... There. I know I was there. I know we were there, but I don't remember. We all got some in some other place. We all maybe sort of died there, and now we're all here. Was it a domain? I guess. It was quite possibly. 
I mean, I just there remember... are many domains here in Ravenloft. I mean that sometimes they fall oh. and falter. That's where I know, we are. A fun place. Yes. <clears throat> My people like to travel here and we trade, but we also entertain because unfortunately the entities trapped here have also trapped innocent people as well. So we tend to, you know, bring whatever joy we can to these people. That's not people, just people not just are, to the Elden Wild. People but are trapped, trapped here. here. That's people, very honorable. Yeah. There are multiple towns here. Us? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, there's people. Okay, look, my understanding, because I'm here, grand total of less than 24 hours, is that this is a transient stay that has some purpose that I have to unlock so I can leave. Happened in other places that I've been Interesting. to. Interesting. Where did you hear this from? Look, I've been in a couple other places. I had to find a whole book in Pandemonium and then turn it over to the right person, and then I got to leave. Some by, guy by the name of Bob. Do I know the name of Pandemonium? Uh, give me what have we been Arcana? Or history. Or Our history. history. <sighs> Ten. You haven't heard the name Pandemonium before. Did you? Uh, let me roll. I mean, you can roll. Anyone can roll. But that's a history, no, that's a sixteen. You, you've heard of a realm? That is pure terror and fright and constant sensory overload. But oh. you hear it as a tale, you don't hear it as a real place. But Believe me, before I went there, I was blonde. That the wolves had also spoke about that place. That the pandemonium wolves, that they had no, said. No, they're, they're nothing. But I, they are nothing to, to deal with. I, to be honest, I didn't deal with anything fighting there. I was able to get in, get a book, and get out. Because honestly, most of the time I can be fairly unnoticeable despite I mean, all of this same here I mean in that but I have also I mean I've I've been to Barovia temporarily I've spent I, most of my time in the Feywild I mean uh, I've, friend I I haven't been to Barovia in a while I do not like going there but I had to I deliver mean, tarts while I was there do you want to know any more about it I I get the gist. Yes, and that's yeah. how I got out. So I'm assuming once more I've been pulled to another realm looking for help. Yes, this is interesting. And I just need to accomplish something. However, there's others that are stuck here? I couldn't do, do anything in Barovia, but can these children be saved? I got I got brought in by a ghost baby. Do you understand the nature of these domains? No. No, we don't. I just know that I was brought in by a ghost child, which I'm not going to tell child no, I can't help them. Perhaps this would be better told by a tale. A tale of the Elden Wild. Once upon a time, the Elden Wild was a blessed place where there was harmony between man and the forest. Man paid reverence to the forest spirits and the spirits obliged. Of those forest spirits, none were more powerful and revered than the Nympha of the Grove. I thought you said farts, I'm sorry. You... Oh, you silly bunny. <laughs> <laughs> of oh, the fart spirit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want to mess this. Yes. Because my brain did. Uh, I'm the sorry, coven. please continue. The sorry. coven of the Elden Wild. The three spirits that were the heart of its people and of the forest. They gave wealth, prosperity, and good health to all the land until one day, one day a man went into the grove looking to cure their daughter of an illness. He sat there for hours, but no one showed up and she perished in his arms. Angered by this, he took his blade and searched for the first ugh, sorry searched for the first one he could find and chopped her head off 
went. Right. This angered the spirits. The eldest sister, angered by this action, she went down into the village of Shibani and destroyed it, looking for the man who did this to his sister, to her sister. Ever since that day, the world was plunged into darkness, into this domain where it resides to this day, unable to be a part of where it once was, always decaying, always destroyed, always trying to escape, but unable to. The, do you understand now? Yeah. Yes, this is a prison. I do. Wait. And it's a prison that the innocent are a part of. You said they were forest spirits, but they're hags now. Hags are technically a type of fae. The, the forest, forest spirits, not, spirits. Every, not every spirit is good. Just like people, the spirits can be corrupted. And if that corruption grows too deep... Well, it might not even be corruption. Decay is but part of nature. Part of that ghost spirit before I became possessed... He and was when, holding a head of... And I was brought by a little blonde girl that looked like the grumpy blonde man. It seems your... Your presence here has more significance than you think. How would you like to speak with our eldest? Our matriarch? I very much would like to. Yes. Not tonight. I'm gonna uh, walk away. You... With you my are, glass of milk. Obviously, she is very <laughs> she is very sleepy and also very old. You don't want to wake her right now. Right. Uncle, Uncle, yes. no, that one that you just That's insulted right. has a very large stabby stick. Did I insult anyone? I am very yes. sorry. Yes, you, you called her old. I meant... He was talking about his matron. My matron's very Oh, I thought talking you were talking about... about she has a very good sense old. of humor. She has a very good sense of humor. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about this one, who I still no, don't know No, 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 she, she is. She looks very young, very spry. She is very... Yes, she is not good like our save, matron. Uncle. Very good old. Save. I walked away. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk out away from the caravan a bit, and hmm. uh, I'm going to attempt to make a, a divination prayer. Okay. So. That's what the milk is for. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Mooney, Mooney does does offerings. Best of part of divination <laughs> is salooning in your cup. <laughs> no. Um, let me grab my notes again here. Those things are fucking sour. I didn't expect that. <laughs> they're sour. not sour. They're delicious. They're, okay, they're really like, good. I, I yeah. grabbed one and put it in my mouth. He's still talking. I already interrupted once. And I'm like, mmm. I will bring a better treat next time. Oh, no, you don't got to bring her. I, I failed to make cookies because it's like, I have walnuts and pecans. Wait. I can't make I cookies. need to make s'more cookies. I, I need to rephrase so, that. This is the this is the exact text. I'm going out to read the spell. Dimination. Okay. Whatever you just, like. just coke. Yeah, then I, I had uh, made some s'more cookies over the weekend. Oh, my God. They got like marshmallows, milk chocolate, and waffle and waffle cone bits in them. I do have some emergency cookies. Why are you making diabetes cookies? That I'm not making diabetes okay. cookies. Look, I got walnuts, pecans, I am trying to be healthy myself. Butterscotch and chocolate chips sitting in there just going, Hey buddy, you've actually lost three pounds since since the start of the year. You know what you need? A little circle of sugary goodness. Little yeah, Debbie no is still nasty. trying to basically make me become a warlock patron of her. Actually, not sponsored, but yes, it yeah. should be. Oh, yeah. by the way, as a heads up, loose thing right now, I am working on for our charity event in May, which I think Claire is doing all the, the work for. Uh, I am going to set up a warlock level six only, or level six only warlock campaign. And your patrons come from a list of fast food chains. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. I don't this is boring so. because I couldn't help but start laughing at the uh, the great cold one for Derek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um. So as as I get out uh, and away from the, the caravan a bit, I want to find just a like I'm assuming the clouds are still thick, but I want to get mm. wherever the moonlight is shining brightest. Yes. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna just kind of slowly pour pour the milk onto the ground. Mm. And um, let's see here. Uh, single question. Um, Is is Madrid really dead? Death really depends on where you are. But in the sense of what you mean, no. I'm but, just, oh. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna just sit. I'm not actually gonna sleep either. Mm, I'm just okay. gonna sit in short rest. Give me a constitution save, huh? Constitution save? Yeah, if you're staying up all night. Yeah. I did get a little sleep from you, you got a little bit of sleep, but okay, I'll say this. You can't take a full rest, but you don't get exhaustion. Okay, that's fine. I can short rest it, it's all good. John, after that the story time is just gonna just sit back and just basically Pop it corn. It's just uh basically Maple just going bacon. pop it corn. Oh that's oh. the shit. <laughs> It's I'm just. Clip. Oh, that's the shit. <laughs> oh, that tastes good. Yeah, I know, right? My dad got some of that shit for Christmas. It's good stuff. Oh, oh yeah, damn. The rehab. That's good. The rehab place makes it. Joe Lon, mm-hmm. like, right, Joe, that you know, like, Joe, not a Joe Lon, like, right before that he goes to sleep, it's just gonna be like. I just don't trust any of this shit. I mean, came back. Third time's the charm. You know. Can I uh, finally just go to, like, Wolf Just Nirvana? I don't know. What's Wolf Nirvana? Fucking trees. Fucking Vipera always just attacking. You know, <laughs> why in the hell am I always unlucky? Because you're not a half anymore, bitch. <laughs> Damn! Damn! <laughs> I'm very sorry. This yeah. ass is strong. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, I Hopefully, there. my elder will help with the. Uh, will help with that. Uh, I mean, she's very. She's very wise. She can see within the threads of fate. I mean, I hope so. Well, but, maybe she'll give us direction. But then that just that, but just direction. I mean, then that. I have always felt like that. It's just time. Time to just move on. And then he just immediately just goes in a food coma because of mm-hmm. itis mm-hmm. sets in. Okay, so with the recent, y'all all take a long rest and wait till the morning. And on that, we're going to take a break. Where did we go, Matt? We're going to take a break because the second part of this is going to be, well, for one, i got to use the bathroom, but two, uh, we're going to go into some little, uh, some little reading of your fate. Does it sound fun? Yay! Oh. God. Everybody, we'll be right back. Right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. Same.
lights that shine in darkness aren't always visible under the sun. Beware the tales told by the fire's keepers. Those who control the light often hide in their own shadows. Hey, close the door, close the door, close the door. I know y'all heard about that asshole up in Chicago, but you heard about these bad witches down here? The lights that shine in darkness aren't always visible under the sun. Beware the tales told by the fire's keepers. Those who control the light often hide in their own shadows. Hey, close the door, close the door, close the door. Yeah.
The lights that shine in darkness aren't always visible under the sun. Beware the tales told by the fire's keepers. Those who control the light often hide in their own shadows. It closed the door, it closed the door, it closed the door. Yeah.